to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presents the most important news of the day. Saturday, January 20th of 2024, Victor Atala took position as the new Minister of Public Health during an event held at the headquarters of that portfolio, where he promised ethical, transparent, efficient, and humane management. The Ministry of Education reported that it will take legal action against companies that despite those situations recorded and alerts have continued to carry out fumigations by air in the vicinity of several educational centers in San Francisco de Macorís and Duarte province. President Luis Abinader said that he will encourage the various sectors that have shown the rejection of Law 1-24, created by the National Intelligence Directory, DNI, to discuss the concerns that they have expressed because they propose that the rule will violate fundamental rights. In a judgment of 2013, the Dominican Constitutional Court established the obligation of the states of individuals not carry out actions that interfere with communications and the intimate life of people, unless they have their authorization or expressly provided by law. With the beginning of 2024, the government resumed its agenda of inaugurations and other activities. However, this has generated a rejection in the opposition political parties since this action, they say, represents a violation of the established electoral deadlines. Between story and tell, they say they spend their days merchants who are since 3 and 6 in the morning at their sales stalls in the markets of the province of Santo Domingo and the National District. They say that a reduced flow of customers prevails due to the high price of the products of the basic basket. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com for Listing Diario voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.